हेलो गाइज लेट डिस्कस फंक्शन ओवरलोडिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस नाउ फंक्शन ओवरलोडिंग इज अ फीचर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड लैंग्वेज थ्रू विच वी कैन राइट मल्टीपल फंक्शन विद द सेम नेम इन प्रोसीजर लैंग्वेजेस लाइक सी आई कैन राइट अ फंक्शन विथ अ नेम बट आई कैन नॉट राइट टू और मोर फंक्शन विद द सेम नेम इन सी प्लस प्लस आई कैन राइट मल्टीपल फंक्शन विथ सेम नेम प्रोवाइडेड दैट देयर सिग्नेचर इज डिफरेंट so there is one condition the signature of functions should be different now what is a signature of a function signature of a function contributes of three things first thing is number of arguments to the function then second thing is data types of arguments and third thing is sequence in which those arguments are passed now understand this concept with one example suppose i am writing four different functions with name add first add function is taking two integer arguments second add function is taking three integer arguments third add add function is taking one integer and one double argument and last add function is taking double argument and integer argument now in my program in my c++ program i can have these four functions existing simultaneously because their signature is different between first and second the signature of first add and second add is different because number of arguments to them are different the signature of second and third is different because number of arguments are also different and data type is also different if i compare function first and third then signature of these two add functions are different because data type is different though the number of arguments are same and between last two last one and second last one number of arguments are same data type is also same but sequence in which these arguments are passed are different and that's why the signature is different so if either of these three things like number of arguments data type of arguments and sequence of arguments if either of the thing is different then signature is different now one more important thing you have to remember here is the return type of function do not contribute to the signature so suppose if i write one more add function with return type double add it is taking again double and integer arguments then now the last add function and second last add function have the same signature so they cannot exist simultaneously in my program so let's implement this now let me write first add function for two integers so suppose int add int a comma int b definition will be return a plus b then add function for three integers i write int a int b int c and definition will be return a plus b plus c in main function i call both of them c out add first for two integers say i am passing 10 20 and then i call add function for three integers 10 20 30 name of the file is overload.cpp i will compile this g++ overload.cpp hyphen o say overload is name of the executable it is compiled dot slash overload it is giving the output 30 and 60 that means both the add functions are there simultaneously and the code is running if i write the definitions of these functions later to function call so suppose these definitions are here then in that case i need to provide the declarations for both of them so int add int comma int this is declaration of first add function and this one is the declaration of second add yes it is running 
let me add few more functions for adding say integer double double integer so here I write int add it is taking one integer argument and other double argument then again int add now first one is double argument and second one is integer argument definitions of those functions so I will copy this and I will paste it over here now second argument is of double kind there won't be any difference in the definitions because definition will be written a plus b only and second one first argument is of double kind and second is integer type I will call newly added functions so say 10 and second argument is 20.5 double value and here first argument is double 10.5 and second is integer so I have written four different add functions and I have called all of them the functions are with different signature and same name now one warning is thrown converting int from double because here in these two add functions I am adding integer and double value and return type is integer so there may be loss of data so let me change the return type to double here now since return type do not contribute to the signature doesn't matter what return type I keep compile it run it so 30 60 30.5 and 30.5 is output 20 plus 10 30 then 10 plus 20 plus 30 yes 60 so output is correct for all of them so this is how function overloading is implemented in C++ one more thing I told you suppose I have one more add function say int add double int now between last add function and second last add function number of arguments data type of arguments and sequence of arguments is same so signature is same but return type is different so now let me check whether this code is getting compiled so when I compile it it is throwing error it is saying ambiguous old declaration of add that means compiler is not allowing us to write these both of the functions simultaneously so that means return type of function do not contribute to the signature now how the function overloading is handled by the compiler now C++ compiler has one characteristics or property which is called as name mangling because of name mangling property compiler will add special characters into the name of function depending on the signature of the function so that set of characters which is added into the name is different for different overloaded functions since their signature is different so for us the name of the function is same but since compiler will refer to the name mangled name of the function for compiler name of each function will be different so this is how a function overloading is handled internally